Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here at St. Stephen Baptist Church in Louisville, Kentucky, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the Master on a daily basis. We've been following Mark chapter 5, this guy by the name of Jairus, who had a 12-year-old daughter who was sick and went to Jesus. She's about to die. And he goes to Jesus with an urgent plea to come to his house to heal his daughter. Jesus makes his way and his hopes are up. But in the process, he experiences a delay that is a costly delay. And the delay, of course, is this uh, crowd that's around Jesus and this woman who's been sick. This woman who's been sick, who's been hemorrhaging for 12 years, has spent all of her money trying to get well. But she presses her way through the crowd, touches the hem of Jesus' garment, and she's whole. Jesus says, who touched me? And then proceeded to allow her to tell her story. And this was a costly little lamb. I'm sure Jairus is just sitting there saying, come on, come on. Probably upset because who came first? G the Jairus came first. And, he, and no doubt he probably had a little bit of elitism about himself because he's the head of the synagogue. This woman is a no-name woman. We know Jairus' name, but we don't know this woman's name because she hasn't been to the synagogue in 12 years because her disease restricted her from going to the synagogue according to Jewish law. Well, my brothers and sisters, this delay was costly. And these messengers come to Jesus and Jairus and say, don't bother Jesus anymore, Jairus. Your daughter is dead. But look, if you will, verse 35 and 36 again. Look at what it says. It says, Jesus said to her, my daughter, talking about the woman who had been, had been hemorrhaging, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Be healed of your trouble. While Jesus was saying this, some messengers came from Jairus' house and told him, your daughter has died. Why bother the teacher any longer? Verse 36, Jesus paid no attention to what they said, but told him, don't be afraid, only believe. Now listen very carefully. When Jesus said, don't be afraid, only believe, that phrase is continuous action. The verb in the Greek language is not just believe as though it is just one time. What it is really, he is really saying is don't be afraid, keep on believing and keep on believing and keep on believing. In spite of, now he, Jesus heard the news just like Jairus did. The daughter was dead, but Jesus said in the midst of death, in the midst of tragedy and crisis, don't stop believing. I don't care what happens in life. Jesus says, keep believing, brother, brother Jarius. Which begs the question, don't you think that Jesus knew that things were urgent? Yes, he knew things were urgent. Then why did Jesus take his time? Why did Jesus allow this hemorrhaging woman to tell her story about how long she had been sick. Jesus allowed this woman to tell her story because guess who needed to hear it? Jarius. Because this woman ex is exercising the same type of faith that Jarius is going to need if he's going to see his daughter healed. And that is, this woman had been sick for 12 years, spent all of her money on all of her doctors. She was not getting well. But she said to herself, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Which is to say that in spite of the setbacks and disappointments, guess what this woman is doing? She's saying, I kept believing. Even when there was no hope, I kept believing. See, there's a lot of similarities between this woman and Jesus. Jesus is helping both of these females. One, he's being the great gynecologist and the other, he's becoming the great pediatrician. For the 12-year-old, he's the great pediatrician. For the for the woman, he's the great gynecologist. And they both have the number 12 because she's been sick 12 years. She's The little girl is 12 years of age. But the real similarity is this. It's the same type of faith that this woman has. And when she kept on believing, even though all the evidence would call, you would think would cause her to be cynical and pessimistic, she said, you know, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. She kept on believing. And the reason why Jesus wanted her to tell her story, which was a delay for Jairus, 
was because why it was a delay for Jarvis, it also was development for Jarvis because he needed to know what he needed to do to see his blessing, and that is to keep on believing, amen, and never give up, amen. Listen, my brothers and sisters, uh, you've got to keep on believing as well. Keep believing, my brother. Keep believing, my sister. When you get the bad evidence, you just keep believing. Amen. By faith. Now, let's be honest. There are times when we are like the woman who was hemorrhaging, and we got enough faith, and we say, Lord, I'm just going to keep on believing. I can just touch the hem of his garment. I'll be made whole. But there are other times we were like that man who had a son who was filled with a demon. And Jesus said, do you believe? And he said, I believe, but help my unbelief. Which is to say that part of him believed, but there was a part of him that didn't have faith. We don't always have the same faith as that hemorrhaging woman. Sometimes we're like that man with his son. Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. Regardless of whether you have big faith or little faith, keep on believing because the faith of a mustard seed, a small mustard seed, can move mountains. Have you stopped believing? Have you received some bad news, some bad health news, uh, a bad situation? God has a way of turning the bad situations around for God's glory and for your good. Jesus says, don't be afraid. Keep on believing, keep on believing, keep on believing in spite of the evidence. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word today. And, and we hear you telling us to keep on believing. Just like that hemorrhaging woman who had disappointments, but said to herself, I'm going to keep on believing. If I can touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You respond to faith. Be it unto us according to our faith. Help us to keep on believing. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace and blessings to you. Thank you for being with me with another powerful point to ponder. Look, if you don't have a church home, I'd like to extend an invitation to you to become a part of the St. Stephen Church family. Email us here at newstart at ssclive.org and we will get back with you. Peace and blessings to you. Thank you again. We'll pick up on this tomorrow, but until tomorrow comes, don't forget to stay safe, stay sane, and know this, that God is still on the throne. Peace and blessings. See you tomorrow.